What's going on, Brick Nation? Welcome back to yet another custom LEGO minifigure video. Today, I have a special group of figures that I've been working on forever, and I'm super sorry that they are really late. But and here I have my Civil War team cap figures. Um, I'm really proud of these figures, and I hope you guys like them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, and the first figure we have today is the one the only Captain America. So, making this figure was quite a challenge, especially the head and the torso, even though I use Lego's torso. Um, so, I'll just give a quick little 360 so you can see the whole figure. Okay, so let's see, let's start with the head. So, basically, all I used is one of the Ultron helmet thingy -ma -doo -makers. um painted it blue, added some silver lining, and painted a head um, to match up with the cowl. And then, moving down the minifigure for the torso, I took Lego's torso, painted a little bit of my own blue to cover up the red that is not present on his suit in the movie. And then added a few more blue here and there to really make the torso stand out. Um, for the arms, they're completely symmetrical. I just have two little red lines on them. I was going to paint, I was going to try to paint some Avengers symbols, but he kind of takes them off halfway through the movie, so I decided against that decision. And then the back of his torso is just Lego's torso with a bit of my own blue here and there. Um, so next, let's do his accessories. He just sports his regular shield in dark red. And I added some silver lines from when Black Panther and him getting in a fight. Um, that, I think that turned out pretty good. And then his legs are just some brown boots with a gray line going down the side. Um, so that's about it for the Star Spangled Hero himself. Let's get on to the next minifigure. All right, so here is the next minifigure, and that is Bucky Barnes or the Winter Soldier. Um, so again, just give you a quick little 360. So you can see the full minifigure. Um, so I took Lego's torso. Um, I didn't add anything to the torso. Um, and I just kept Lego's head because I thought it was fine. Um, again, nothing to the back of the torso. I did nothing to it. Um, the arms, however, I continued the design of the awesome black lines that Lego had going on their Winter Soldier. Continued it onto the sides of the arms. I mean, like, you know, this, this part. And then the other arm is just his normal arm, which is just a black arm with some gray. He's got a shoulder pad and like a wrist thingy. And then I did add a couple little designs on his hand, on his metal arm hand. And then for the legs, I was going to sculpt them, but then I decided against that because the clay kept falling off. So he just has some knee pads with straps going around all four sides. Um, so that's about it for the Winter Soldier. Hope you guys liked it. On to the next minifigure. Okay, and the next minifigure we have here is none other than Falcon. Um, this was quite a fun minifigure to make. I had a lot of fun making him. Um, so, let's start with the head. Um, I just took Lego's like cyborg head and painted some hair and a goatee on it. Um, not too much going on in the head. Um, for the body, I just added some black detailing with some silver kind of filling it in. And then the red, the little streaks with white lines in them. And then he does have some design on the leg, on the legs, um, just like squares and stuff. And he's got some feet design, which you can't see. But, so yeah, I'm pretty proud of this minifigure and I think he turned out good. I hope you guys think the same. Let's get on to the next minifigure. Okay, and the next figure we have here is Scarlet Witch. Um, this was a pretty challenging minifigure to make, actually. Um, so just give a quick 360. 
Um, so let's start with the head. I just took Legolas head and hair from the bigger Civil War set and didn't really do anything. Well, I didn't do anything to the head, actually. Um, and then for the torso, this up. Um, I just did some silver lines and some black lines. She has kind of like a red shirt on and then like a red jacket. So I tried to portray that on this Lego. Um, and then, if you notice, she does have her necklace that she has in the movies. Um, and then the trench coat was probably the hardest thing to make in this minifigure because it was tricky finding a way to kind of make it work with the odd hair piece that she has. Um, but I think it turned out pretty good. And then, um, just, she doesn't have any printing on the legs. Um, so a simple minifigure, but I think it turned out pretty cool. On to the next minifigure. Okay, and here we have the next minifigure. This is actually the last minifigure I started, or I started working on for the Civil War Team Cap Showcase. Ant-Man or Giant-Man. Although I didn't make a Giant-Man, sorry. Um, so this minifigure, probably the hardest to make out of all of them because I did torso a while ago. Um, just kind of left it there. Because uh, I didn't know how to do the head. And I ended up taking Lego's Ant-Man head and just sculpting the mouth to kind of cover up that hole. And then I did end up painting the eyes red with some white lens flare kind of going. Um, and then for the torso, I did some simple red, gray, and silver designs. I think it looked pretty nice. Um, and then the arms, they are actually asymmetrical. Uh, this arm is just kind of his default regular arm. And then I did do the same kind of shoulder pad on this. But I added this little blue screen right here, and, uh, spoilers, but, you know, you've seen the movie already. Um, he kind of uses this to, he, you know, does this, and it, he clicks the button, and it turns him into Giant Man. So, I did do that little screen on his arm. And, for the legs, he just has simple red and silver designs going all around. And I think it looks pretty cool. So on to the last minifigure of the show. All right, and here we have the final minifigure of the Civil War team cap figs, Hawkeye. Probably, like most of the roles he plays, he doesn't do that much, but I still think this minifigure turned out pretty good. Um, just give you a quick little 360. So starting with the head, I used the Superman head from the Batman v Superman head. Sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. Um, and then I used the black sleepy hair. And then, let me move his bow out of the way. Um, you can see from the torso, he has this quiver strap on his torso. Um, so I did my best to portray that on this Lego minifigure. And I did some red lines, and you probably can't see them, but I did some blue strips going down the side which is pretty cool. And then I did a little silver belt kind of thing there. Um, and then for the arms, this arm has no detailing whatsoever. It's just a black arm. Stay down. Um, and then his quiver has, I painted the quiver black and just added some silver lines. I think that turned out pretty cool. But his other arm, Boy, you'll notice it has the short sleeve shirt, and then he's got this kind of black uh, arm guard for the bow, and then he's got that thing that covers his fingers. So I did my best to paint that onto this minifigure, and I think it turned out pretty cool. I really like this minifigure. Um, um, for the for the like the pants, I just did some knee pads and some shoes that go on all four sides as usual. Um, so that about does it for the final minifigure. All right, and this concludes the Civil War Team Captain America figure showcase. 
Um, this was these figures were a lot of fun to make, and I'm really sorry that this showcase is late. But yeah, um, subscribe for more, um, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Comment below if you really like this movie. Um, so yeah, that about does it. See you, Brick Nation.